Hi, I'm Silvio. My first video of 2021 will be dedicated to a particular Christmas village. I will criticize this Christmas village. Yes, you heard me correctly. I said criticize simply because it is full of problems and errors. Now that I could take a step back from my work, from my little baby here, I can honestly and objectively show you all its major flaws. Hi guys, welcome to 2021 and to my first video for the new year. The season is almost over, is almost finished and I watched the, as many Christmas Village videos as I could find on YouTube. Why? Simply because now that I took some distance from my work, that uh, I've uh, let it uh, cool down for a while, I can review, no sorry, I can criticize my work, my Christmas village, as I always uh, do when season is finishing. I've never filmed it before, but I've always uh, done it in past. It's the only way to progress, for me at least, it's the only way to improve my skills and try to do better. I've always told you that I'm far from being perfect, simply because I'm human, and my Christmas villages will always be full of imperfection, of problems, of defaults. But uh, we are imperfect, we are humans, and so it's good like that. And I will never, and I repeat never, try to review or criticize some one other Christmas villages, simply because we are all different, we are all singularity, all individuals, and the product, the creation of uh, uh, individuals is simply magnificent, is simply wonderful, is simply special and amazing. So I will always consider um, Christmas uh, villages from other people simply beautiful and without any default. Because I love their creation, I love your creation, folks. But I know myself, I know how my brain functions, I know that uh, I will always do um, errors, I will always do uh, something wrong in my Christmas villages. Even that now I'm way past the 50 years old, I will still continue doing errors. But it is how it is. So today, uh, let's start uh, with uh, the first uh, problem I have with my Christmas village. Let me just uh, uh, change some, a little bit the views there. I hope you will see. This building, this house here, yes, beautifully done, yes, but it's simply blocking the view to the band, to the marching band there, and to the train when it's uh, um, rolling <coughs> here. Uh, so. I don't like to have uh, buildings uh, masking, hiding something behind them, simply because it will ruin the depth of view. So this house here, this building here, shouldn't have been placed there. I knew that because point of view is my, one of my main goals every time I build a Christmas village, but I couldn't avoid to place it there, because this year, for the first time, I lacked space. I haven't enough space for all my buildings. I have wrongly calculated all the space I needed for all my buildings. And this, is, and this was a big problem, but I didn't have enough 
time to find some other solution because I would have uh, my <laughs> quickest solution would have been to increase uh, the um, the width of the Christmas village but it was too late when I started placing all the uh, buildings when the gathering uh, time uh, has come. Another problem. I love my train. I love my little companion there. This is, I think, the fourth year I use it. The first two years I had absolutely no problem with it, simply because uh, the uh, tracks were all placed at ground level and it had absolutely no problems at all rolling perfectly all around the tracks I've laid down. But last year I started uh, with uh, the uh, tracks having a steepness, having my railroad uh, climbing all the hills, all the mountains and <clears throat> last year it was too steep so the train had many 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 problems this year I reduced as I told in my uh, full tutorials the steepness, uh, the steepness of uh, the uh, climbing I've reduced by half the steepness so the train uh, I thought that the train would be perfect because I've used the percentage exactly as it is usually, uh, usually <coughs> as it is normally used sorry, in real life but the train still have many problems I will explain to you right now let's just move some more the train and I will detach uh, two wagons in order to explain it clearly to you here and here so let's observe how the two uh, <coughs> the two wagons are connected I hope that it will be clear it's uh, some sort of automatic connecting with a spring there and each time a wagon is connected to the other one they are joined with these two connections there and that connection is very well suited for uh, pulling or pushing each uh, wagon. But what does happen to the wagons when um, the tracks start climbing the hill? The wagon, the uh, trolley, the car in front of uh, the second one will start climbing so I will start having a sliding effect here between those two uh, connecting uh, mechanisms there and they will start to slide the one with the other and at maximum steep I will have this effect that it will slide off so uh, each time I try to um, speed up the train or go a little faster some of the uh, cars, some of the uh, wagons uh, will detach and go <laughs> separate ways those kind of uh, train set are not suited for uh, climbing steepness for climbing some uh, hills, some mountains they are just uh, suited for uh, going straight for going leveled on the ground with no problem at all having uh, the um, the connecting uh, um, system um, pulling or pushing each wagon each car it it's not possible to use them to climb so next year I will avoid having my uh, my tracks uh, climbing some hills maybe I will not uh, 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 no I will surely not have them on the ground level I will put them on an higher level but I will have all the tracks laid down at the same level it's the only way to have the train correctly functioning correctly running on the on the on the race 
and with no problems at all. This is the kind of problems you will have using this kind of wagon, this kind of uh, train set. Maybe with a train not in scale with the buildings, so not in ON30 uh, uh, gauge, but maybe in N gauge or 0 gauge or G gauge. You will have no problem at, so, at all, but the train uh, will not be in a scale uh, with the, the, um, the buildings. And sincerely, I've seen very, 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 very few examples of uh, Christmas villages with uh, trains um, trying to uh, climb some hills, trying to climb some uh, steepness. <clears throat> very problematic using this kind of train set. So, next year, <laughs> we'll see my uh, tracks layout completely flat. And that was my first, let me just remove the two cards there, I will replace them lately. So another problem, uh, guys, um, I'm talking about the, uh, tra the sta train station position. You have certainly seen many western movies or many uh, movies from the Victorian era, Victorian period, so you have always seen the train station positioned parallel to the train tracks and never at 90 degrees respect to the train tracks. But this year I aid myself to having uh, to position the train station there simply because due to another of my errors I haven't calculated enough space to position correctly the train station. The only free spot I had was this spot there, the spot right there, but obviously placing the train station there would have added one of the main view, one of the key view of the Christmas village and no band there, no view from the um, arcade entrance there, nothing there. So be another big mistake. Obviously, this spot was free, but this is in front of the tracks. I don't like to place uh, stations, train station in front of the tracks. Uh, these uh, station, these stations are um, built to have the train uh, passing in front of them, not behind them. So that's another big mistake. Also, here, concerning the entrance of the gallery. This is the first time I made the train entering the gallery in a curved section, and it is a big, big, big mistake. Simply because I, doing that way, I couldn't place an arcade entrance there that it is very beautiful to see when a train enters a gallery. Simply because when a train is in a curved section, the space it occupies, the, uh, <coughs> the width it occupied is larger than uh, when it circulates on a straight track, because uh, the junction here uh, between uh, two uh, trolley, two uh, cars, two wagons, need to be displaced somewhere else, so it occupied more space when uh, a wagon is rotating in respect to another one. So I couldn't have, have a straight uh, section there because I lacked the space, so never do a gallery entrance in a curved section of tracks big mistake that I will uh, never uh, make again in future. Next problem. If you remember, I've uh, done the uh, river and the river bed and I painted it, covered it and uh, waterproofed it with uh, three layers of glue during um, July, August, August, sorry. But the 
big rock there that I made to mask the uh, pump inside the lake. I made it uh, late September and I painted it in, during October and waterproofed it, water, uh, proofed it with glue in uh, mid-October. The three layers of glue hadn't the enough time to perfectly dry. The uh, riverbed is still plastic, it still sounds plastic, even with all the water flow that <laughs> passed uh, through it during uh, these uh, weeks. But the rock, especially the part of the rock that is submerged, suffered from the mm, not perfect uh, waterproofing of the uh, coating of the uh, three layers of uh, glue. The color hasn't vanished, it, it is still present under the layers of glue, but the glue has become not more transparent but almost uh, white, so it's not a very uh, good effect right now. And here I added no glue at all, so the original color is still present and here I have no problem at all with uh, some kind of discoloration of the riverbed because the waterproofing was uh, well uh, done. I had no time. Never do a waterproofing like that when the glue has to dry if it's not a plain summer. Obviously August uh, for me it was a plain summer, July or so at least for the northern hemisphere. It is surely not a plain um, summer in the southern uh, hemisphere, but uh, doing the waterproofing in October prevented it to well dry. So now I have this awful effect uh, on, the, um, on the lake. Discoloration, some sort of algae, but I don't like it at all. Every time you have water uh, flowing on some part that, is, uh, that has been painted or waterproofed, you need to do it when uh, the weather is uh, well dry and very hot. Next problem we are in winter. This is a Christmas village uh, winter in Northern Hemisphere, plenty of snow. Each building should have at least some snow on top of it. Those two buildings has snow on top of it, this one too, and the post office too. But originally it had snow on top of it, simply because many buildings of Caddington collection have simply no snow on top of them. But using some uh, modeling clay, I usually add some kind of snow on top of them. And this kind of uh, uh, modeling clay is uh, white, so I use a white modeling clay. But, but this year, simply because I was too late, I haven't some snow on top of uh, the, um, the blacksmith workshop, the Claire's confectionery, and obviously also the Christmas, Nora Christmas uh, boutique right there. Big mistake. Every uh, other building has snow on top of it originally or made by myself but those three buildings had absolutely uh, no snow on top of them. Big error. I don't like it. Big mistake. I was uh, aware of it uh, when I placed the buildings and I promised myself to put some snow on top of uh, them and to show you how I put snow on top of them. But I lacked the time, so I missed that part when building my Christmas village. And I absolutely hate uh, this aspect. Uh, street lamps. No complaints about the street lamps. Uh, I think that this year the new model is well uh, suited. Um, next uh, problem. Next problem here too. I have a problem of depth of view. As I told you before, this building uh, shouldn't be there. I should have some sort of uh, park there 
because it will avoid to have uh, the other um, part of the layout hided by uh, this uh, building there. Uh, a little part there, just uh, uh, walking up the stairs, having a little part there would have been a better choice with uh, some uh, park bench, with some uh, little trees and something else, maybe with a little statue, I don't know but I thought about it uh, longly. And uh, the same thing for the class confectionery, it's hiding the stair. The stair is uh, absolutely uh, not uh, very, very important. Let me just change uh, the point of view. I'm talking about the class confectionery right there. Uh, it was the only spot uh, remaining for Claire's confectionery. It is the last building I have placed on my layout. It's uh, hiding a little bit the stair behind it. Not very important, but I would like to have the stair in play view as this year is some sort of wall, uh, not too um, big, and so I would have preferred to have it in plain view. The <coughs> the windmill. The windmill also could have been placed a little bit uh, to the uh, right in order to not hide what is behind it. Just like the hills view in there that it's hiding absolutely nothing because it has nothing behind it. When you have uh, uh, two levels uh, uh, placed the one in front of the other or the same level continuing uh, uh, in different places, uh, you should avoid uh, having uh, uh, something in front uh, of it hiding what's in behind uh, there. So another mistake. I lacked uh, this year some space right there. Uh, having uh, some sort of uh, gallery here, masking the railroad and continuing with uh, some more, let's say, um, 50 centimeters or 60 centimeters of space coming towards me there I would have avoided many 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 problems and I still have plenty of space here to continue uh, my village maybe next year I will uh, do something better concerning this space here certainly I've already uh, planned, I've already finished uh, planning the uh, main base for the new layout. And the uh, next thing that uh, I would have uh, preferred to avoid, the uh, waterfall. Let me just show you the waterfall uh, there. It's complete, uh, completely hidden by uh, the uh, the home here, and the apothecary, and the church. Just having these two buildings there, with um, avoiding to have the apothecary and uh, the that is the pharmacy, obviously, and the uh, church there, I would have the uh, waterfall in a plain view. Other thing I have the waterfall and 19 going at 19 degrees it's not very well suited i should have had the waterfall starting from a higher level and completely in front of the main view uh, with the water flowing uh, down the main view with a little curve yes where i have placed it but uh, it will have been a better effort, a better visual effort to have the uh, waterfall starting maybe at that height there and completely flowing down with some levels, so with some three to four levels, but perfectly in front of the main view. The waterfall is visible only, only from uh, the side and not a proceeding um, it is only uh, visible sorry when you uh, watch the mm, the main layout from the side and not when watching it 
uh, perfectly in the front view. And um, the river. The river is uh, very well visible uh, from the train bridge there, uh, coming, uh, the, coming uh, towards the camera there but it is useless to have uh, so much uh, space occupied by the river behind the, um, the walking bridge and uh, in the back of the uh, village because it can be appreciated uh, very well. So maybe this part should have been uh, visible and uh, the other part should have been masked under the mountain. Uh, where the waterfall will be would have been uh, flowing down from a higher level. So I told you I have plenty of uh, errors, and uh, my bad. I'm sorry for that. Other problem: Le uh, railroad tracks uh, tracks layout. It's uh, not well suited having the face of someone in line with the steam coming uh, out with the train. I just remember you that those uh, trains were steam trains and uh, from time to time the pressure needed to be expelled from the tubing and the tubing were at level of the uh, wheels of the, uh, of the tracks there. And so this poor guy, this poor uh, chimney sweeper, would have the, his face completely burned by the steam coming out from the tubing of the train. So never place some stairs in proximity of uh, the track rails, otherwise you will risk to burn everyone. I know it is a small uh, problem, but uh, it can be done like that. And I just uh, remember you that this solution was an emergency solution in order to have all the levels uh, mm, joinable from everywhere. Uh, do we have complaints concerning uh, the uh, fountain level? No. Do I have other complaints concerning there? I don't think so. Uh, I've already told you about the depth of view. Uh, here I've told you already. There no problem at all. Maybe some more figurines. It is a little empty, this level there. Santa level. Mm, too poor for Santa level, but next year I will have a big improvement concerning uh, this uh, level. Maybe I will uh, introduce you already something with my uh, next uh, video. And also the mini houses level there, I should have uh, remodeled it uh, in another way, but this too was an emergency uh, layout. I have a, a big amount of unused space, of open space in the middle of the layout that should have been occupied by uh, something else. I needed to rethink all my layout. I already rethink it, but uh, I will surely improve it uh, uh, next year. Oh no, no, not next year, this year. In some months I will start my uh, new building. And other problems, let me think about them. I lack a real market, I should have a real market. And I lack some uh, more water. I'm telling you uh, too much. Uh, concerning uh, the, um, the skating lake there, yeah, the skating part, uh, no big problems, no major problems there. But here I have uh, some unused space, I don't like it, maybe some more uh, vegetation, uh, something uh, more uh, there. Um, from this side, I have enough space next year to continue the building there because 
here on the right I have my uh, working uh, computer there, some, uh, one of my working computer, <laughs> and I uh, need the space uh, to work. Maybe I will move it uh, next year. I don't know yet. And uh, that's all I think for today. Yes, uh, let me just uh, think a little bit more. Maybe I have some uh, more minor problems. Uh, but they are uh, minor problems. But if you want to point me uh, some other problems you have seen, just uh, point them to me. <laughs> I authorize you to do that. I'm here to learn from my mistake. From my mistakes, plural. Because I'm making many, many, many mistakes. And so. That's it, and see you for the outro uh, video. Bye, guys. Being able to be critical with your proper work is a huge leap towards improvement, but it is not possible to do it uh, in the heat of the moment. During the creative ecstasy, no one can be possibly objective with his proper work. But after some weeks, maybe even just some days after uh, the end of your project, uh, many uh, mistakes will start catching your eye. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and if you wish, see you next time.